What's going on guys and welcome back to the Boosted Lucille channel. I figured I'd give you guys a quick update and talk about some of the cars uh, that I've had and that I worked on. Some of the ones uh, that were pretty fun to drive, pretty fun to have. Anyway, so I'm in between uh, still waiting on a new wastegate to come. Uh, and so I can put these new locations back together. I've decided to, we haven't finished yet, so still in the process. I actually decided to go with two wastegates instead of one. I got, you know, this is how it's gonna be. <laughs> but I need to cut a uh, piece of this one off and one's gonna mount here, and the other one's gonna mount here. Hopefully we'll get a little bit better control once once we get this together. Um, ended up having, patching the size of these. So it wasn't, it wasn't too hard to do, but once I finish getting this welded up and I'm gonna probably cut this pipe off so it's, and mount the V-band there, but yeah. So hopefully I should have better control over it and I won't be getting 20 something PSI uh, when I got three pound spring. So one of two of the uh, most memorable cars I had, just I wish I could still find some video clips of them. If I do, maybe I'll, I'll put them in another video, but anyway, so I lived in Japan for three years, uh, from 2007 to 2010. And while I was there, of course, anything every American wants to do when he gets to Japan, he wants to get a, hey, no, he wants to get a Skyline. The Skyline is, uh, I bought this Skyline when I first got to Japan. I bought it for $700. And it was a pal. It, it, it was a. Uh, it was definitely a. You know, a turd. For whoever was messing with it, it was originally an NA Skyline. And what they did is they swapped in a. I believe they swapped in uh, the GTST motor. So for anybody that's watching this and has been to Japan. When you start doing swaps and everything in Japan, unless you get the hookup, when it comes time to inspect it, that's not gonna fly. Uh, when you get that JCI inspection, if everything on your title, on your sheet ain't what it's supposed to be, they're not gonna pass you, unless you know somebody that can hook you up to get it done. So the next car that I got while I was in Japan, once I got rid of that Skyline, was a Nissan Pulsar. Uh, but this one was a GTIR. It was a Nissan Pulsar GTIR, and it was an all-wheel drive, four-cylinder turbo, the SR20 DET. Uh, never took it to the track. Don't know what it would run, because all we would do was just drive on the street with it uh, and drift with it. Five-speed, and it was legit faster than uh, GTRs. I remember I used to whoop up on GTRs all day when I was in Japan. Had coilovers all the way around. Had the roll cage in it already. I had a boost controller, electronic boost controller. Hell, I ain't even got that in my Camaro now. This was a 2013 uh, Camaro that goes by the name of Black Rose that one of my homeboys, one of my best friends actually, that he wanted me to install a cam and headers on. And... I gotta say, this was probably one of the easiest cars I ever worked on. You know, I love working on newer cars now. So there's no bolts that are uh, rusted and everything came off smooth. The cam swap went smooth. Changing out the valve springs went smooth. Everything went well. And I'd be darned if that car wasn't fun to drive either. Uh, LS3 with a Night Fury cam, headers on it. She sounded mean. You know, check out this clip here. Took it to RPM Motorsports in North Carolina to get it tuned. 
she put down i believe like 480 i think i thought that was a little on the low end i thought she should at least hit 500 but for what it was a nice street car to drive around air conditioning you know you couldn't get you couldn't get you know couldn't do much better than that it was Comment, like, and subscribe uh, to the channel. And I will be, as soon as I get that new wastegate, I'll upload the next video. I'll be putting it back on and testing out, see if I can control this boost a little bit better. All right, thanks again. Remember to subscribe and comment and like and share.